Dewey up from Centerville. Dewey up from Centerville. Good evening. How are you doing? Uh, doing fine. Great. You're on with Law Call. What's your legal question for tonight? Well, we have a truck, and it's uh, in the shop. They say gas has been put in it, but it always sits in front of our house, and uh, it's, we have a camper, and the uh, only time it's run, he pulls the camper with it. And they say that gas has been put in it, and uh, I thought it may be water. But they, I told them we had to have it fixed. So they went on to fix it, and uh, then Friday they called me and said they were pulling the head off, and some uh, boats broke off. That's going to cost another $1,000. Hmm. That's going to put it close to $10,000 Wow! for them to fix that truck. And I asked them, I said, why can't Ford pay for some of it? And they said, well, we tried, and they won't do it. I said, well, I don't think that I should have to pay for the boats breaking off because they were, it was running, and they were on there when we brought it to you. Wow. Thank you for your question, Ms. DeRay. We got a response, gentlemen? Well, I think a lot of that depends on whether it's still under a manufacturer's warranty. If it's still under the Ford warranty, then you may have some sort of a claim or cause of action. The dealership shouldn't make a negligent repair. Uh, you may have a claim against the dealership for improperly repairing it. If it's not under warranty, then I would advise you get a second opinion.